Telenor Arena, sometimes referred to as Four Nabu Arena, is a multi-purpose indoor arena located at Four Nabu in Berum, outside Oslo, Norway. It serves as a venue for a variety of events, including concerts, exhibitions, action shows, family shows, TV and sport. It has a capacity for 15,000 spectators for sports and 23,000 for concerts, including 40 luxury boxes and club seating for 1,200. The venue has a fixed roof and an asphalt floor. The venue was opened ahead of the 2009 Norwegian football season as a replacement for Naderad Stadion. It cost 585 million Norwegian krona to build, of which 300 million Norwegian krona was for the sports venue. During the 2000s, Naderad was below standards for play in the top national league. Fornabu was at the time undergoing an urban redevelopment. After several years of negotiations and public grants, Stabak secured a lot in 2004. Construction started in 2007. In 2010, a disagreement arose between the club and venue owner KGLCHR, Ulriksen, with the latter demanding that the team leave the venue to allow for more event revenue. Telenor Arena has hosted the Eurovision Song Contest 2010, as well as concerts by artists and bands of international fame, such as Muse. Foo Fighters, Roger Waters, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, Beyoncé, Jay-Z, Kanye West, Metallica, AC, DC, Black Sabbath, The Rolling Stones. Telenor holds the naming rights. History. Planning Stabak traditionally has played their home games at Naderad Stadion, a municipal multi-purpose stadium at Bekastua. Following the club's rapid ascent from lower divisions to the top league during the first half of the 1990s, Naderad became in need of upgrades, resulting in a new main grandstand opening in 1996. The stadium remained severely lacking adequate facilities for professional football, and fell short of increasing requirements from the Football Association of Norway. Originally, a redevelopment of Naderud was proposed, but in 1999 Stabak players launched the idea of building a new stadium at Fornebu, which became subject to an urban redevelopment project after the 1998 closing of Oslo Airport, Fornebu. The initial proposal was named Blue Dream Arena, would have seating for 25,000 spectators, blue artificial turf and a retractable roof. Other proposed amenities were movable seating which would also allow the stadium to both host athletics and be configured as an intimate football stadium. The idea called for Bruce Springsteen to hold a concert before the first match, which would be played against Barcelona. Several of the initial concepts of the stadium were never materialized. International rules disallowed blue artificial turf. Instead, the flooring in the boxes were made in a blue, artificial turf-inspired material. Also the idea of having a retractable roof was discarded, both because of technical difficulties and cost issues. In May 2001, Oslo City Council voted to sell their properties at Fornabu to Fornabu Bolich Spa, which again had agreements to sell a lot for the stadium to Stabak. In November 2002, Borgarten Court of Appeal concluded that Norona Fly had the right to continue leasing the hangar, located at the planned location of the venue, until 2014. In June 2003, Stabak was in financial difficulties, and investor KGLCHR, Ulriksen bought shares for 10 million Norwegian krona to avoid bankruptcy. These shares had the option to be converted to shares in the arena company. Fornabu Bolich Spa later determined that it was more profitable to build apartments at the arena site. Negotiations started between the club, the property company and Merod Rainsfeld. In November 2003, it was announced that a compromise was reached whereby Fornabu Bolich Spa would give the lot free to Stabak in exchange for a lot nearby. Two weeks later the compromise was rejected by FB. A new compromise was announced on 29 June 2004, whereby FB would give 50 million Norwegian krone and a lot free to Stabak in exchange for the commercial properties which would be part of the 
Stadium. However, the following day the parties announced that they were not able to agree on the risk, as Stabak demanded that FB take the full risk in the project. Instead, Stabak started negotiating with IT for Nabu to take over a lot they owned. They needed a 300 hectares lot which would have a market value of between 60 Norwegian kroner and 80 million. And Reigns felt stated that the municipality was willing to help by maneuvering grey areas within the margins. The club was further pressured by NFF, who were going to limit the exceptions allowed for Nadarud and other stadiums not meeting their criteria. On 29 October, FB and Stabak signed an agreement whereby Stabak received a free lot and 50 million Norwegian kroner, in exchange for FB taking over the commercial properties. The condition was that the municipality allowed a more dense use of the rest of FB's area. This would require a re-regulation of the area, and Rainsfeld estimated that it would not be possible for construction to start until 2006. In November, UEFA changed the rules for artificial turf to state that it had to be green. Until Stabak's proposal was made, UEFA had not though that anyone would build a pitch with a non-green turf and representatives stated that it was because of Stabak the rule change was made. The plans were nearly terminated in October 2006. After discussion about the planned Fornabu line, a people mover which would connect Fornabu to Lysaker, stopped the regulation plan. However, in November the final permissions were granted by Barham Municipality. On the 22nd of December, Stabak announced that the financing was secured. Construction architects were HRTB and the main contractor was NCC Construction. While domed stadiums have been common in North America, no such stadiums of comparable size of Telenor Arena had previously been built for football in Europe. Construction started by demolishing a hangar, which was completed in February 2007. However, because of the building boom, concrete elements needed for construction to start meant that the rest of the construction was delayed. The cornerstone was laid on 5 September. In June 2008, Stabak announced they had signed an 11-year sponsorship agreement with the telecommunications company Telenor, where the latter would pay up to 115 million Norwegian kroner for the sole naming rights for the arena, in addition to tickets and access to executive boxes. In March 2009, the retailing property was sold from Scandinavian Property Development to KLP Irondom. The plans called for 20 to 25 football games, 4 to 8 concerts, 3 to 4 large sports events and 2 other large events and conventions per year. Because of larger seating capacity, an all-seating arrangement, higher attendance and VIP facilities. Stabak is able to generate three times the matchday revenue from Telenor Arena as Nadarud. The stadium is plagued with traffic problems on match days, with large crews hired to create temporary barriers to direct the crowds. The bus stops closest to the venue are closed, and a large number of police officers have to direct the traffic. These are costs which have to be carried by the arena company, and contrasts to matches at the nearly twice as large Ullaval, where no such measures are necessary. Football versus event controversy In October 2009, 10 individuals bought the operation company of the club and signed a 40-year lease for the use of the arena for Stabak's home matches, as well as the right to use the facility for certain other activities. This contract has a revenue of 9 million Norwegian kroner per year. In 2009, Stabark Holding had a deficit of 66.1 million Norwegian kroner, while Stabak Football lost 23.6 million Norwegian kroner. To keep the operating company running, Ulriksen increased the company's share capital by 73 million Norwegian kroner from late 2009 through late 2010. On the 4th of November 2010, Stabark Holdings stated that they were near a bankruptcy and that they intended to throw out Stabak as a tenant, remove the turf and instead use the venue exclusively for events. 
Chair Diedrich Schnittler and Stabark Holdings stated that the business model was not sustainable. The football schedule was not made until early in the year, while in the event business bookings were common one to two years in advance. It was therefore difficult to secure lucrative events, as large parts of the year had to be held in reserve in case the venue was needed for yet-to-be-scheduled matches. The holding company stated that they might have to file for bankruptcy. Stabak Football stated that they had a 40-year contract to use the venue. Stabak's director of sports, Inger Andre Olsen, stated that returning to Nadarud was not an option, as it had too little capacity and insufficient facilities. Should Nadarud be used, it would have to be rebuilt, with new grandstands under roofs, VIP seating, a new parking house and new change room, which would cost 100 million Norwegian kroner. Because of building permits, construction would take two to three years. Nadarud is also not approved to host games in the Premier League, so Stabark would have to either play their games at Ullaval Stadion in Oslo or Marienlist Stadion in Drammen. Telenor stated that if Stabak moved they would have to renegotiate the naming rights agreement for the arena, as the value of the contract was largely based on the naming exposure of Stabak playing in the Premier League. The company also stated that they had difficulty understanding the argumentation from the holding company, as there was no football being played October and March, but that the venue, which has the largest capacity for indoor concerts in the Oslo area, failed to attract large artists, such as Rihanna, during the winter months. On 4 December, Stabak Football stated that they were willing to move their training, Norwegian Football Cup and UEFA matches to either Nadarud or Ullaval, as a compromise to free up more available time in the arena. This was rejected by NFF, who stated that the licensing rules required that a club's main arena be available for all league, cup and UEFA matches, and that a general exemption would not be given for the cup. In mid-December, Stabak Football started the process of a judicial registration of the right to lease the venue, which was permitted according to the contract. This would grant Stabak Football the right to continue to lease the venue even if the holding company went bankrupt. A preliminary injunction for this was granted by Asker and Barham District Court. In a 16 December statement, Three Stabak football officials said that they suspected that Ulrichen's plan all along was to convert the venue to a pure convention center, and that the use as a football venue was a decoy to get a free lot worth up to 200 million Norwegian kroner plus grants worth 50 million Norwegian kroner. The book value of the venue was 303 million Norwegian kroner at the end of 2010, although a statement from the district court stated that the value of the venue was significantly lower than that. The bank DNB Nor held at the time a mortgage with security in the property worth 260 million Norwegian kroner, while Ulrichs and through his investment company held a mortgage worth 60.1 million Norwegian kroner. On 7 January 2011, the parts announced that they had reached a compromise. Stabak would remain at Telenor Arena for at least the 2011 season. In addition, the club held an option to take over the responsibility for events at the venue. Stabak Football had until 30 June to accept the option, which would allow the club to remain at the venue on a permanent basis. This would require them to invest 20 million Norwegian kroner in an event administration, which would increase event revenue but at the same time move the risk from Stabak holding to Stabak football. If the club declined the option, they would not be allowed to play at the venue from the 2012 season. On 30 June, Stabak announced that they would not fulfill the option to continue renting the stadium. The necessary 35 million Norwegian kroner would entail a risk the club was not willing to take. The club stated that they hoped they could remain at the stadium by establishing a foundation which could purchase the venue for Ulrichs in. If this does not work out, the club will have to relocate from the 2012 season. The club is then considering relocating back to Nadarud, to Ullaval or to Marienlist.
The club estimates that any relocation would result in the club losing half their revenue. Stabak played its last match at Four Nabu Arena on 20 November 2011, losing 1-2 against Horsjand. Subsequently the pitch was removed, and Stabak returned to Nadarud from the 2012 season. The Norwegian Handball Federation announced in May 2013 that the arena would be used for a four-nation men's handball tournament, Brink Cup, in November. The federation stated that they would use the tournament to evaluate if the venue was suitable as a new national arena for handball. The venue received mixed reviews. The tournament saw low attendance and Danish commentator Ben Nygaard criticised the arena for being too large. The federation was happy with the arena, and stated that were planning on using it for finals in their bid for future World and European Handball Championships. Telenor Arena is part of the Oslo bid for the 2022 Winter Olympics in which it has been proposed used for short track speed skating and figure skating facilities. The venue is located at Four Nebu, a peninsula in Bærum, located 10 kilometers from the city center of Oslo. The venue is owned and operated by Four Nebu Arenas, which is again owned by Stabak Holding, which also owns Stabak Football. Telenor, Norway's largest telecommunications company, holds the naming rights for the stadium. The venue has seating for 15,000 spectators for football, and 23,000 for concerts. This includes club seating for 1,240 luxury boxes and a restaurant which can seat 800. The arena is entirely indoors, and has a height clearance of 23 meters to the beams and 33 meters to the roof. The floor surface is 120 by 82 meters, while the pitch is 105 by 60 meters. The venue has a considerably lower heating cost than similar conventional halls because the warm air is stored in the building's concrete and steel elements, and using the inert energy created by the spectators. The venue is the largest indoor stadium in Northern Europe. The retailing area of 2,600 square meters in the complex is owned by Arena Handlers, a subsidiary of KLP Eindem. The venue is owned and operated by a conglomerate of six companies all owned by KGL Christian Ulriksen. The mother company for the other companies is Stabak Holding as For Nabu Arena as is the actual owner of the real estate. For Nabu Event as is responsible for renting out the venue for concerts, conventions and other non-sporting events. FA Lies partially leases and partially owns installed facilities in the venue. Same Maya Drift Wider of Eren Near. One as is the management company for the property as a whole. Arena Idret is hold the rental guarantee given to Fornabu Arena by the renters of the commercial properties and same Maya Drift Wider of Eren Near. One, transport. Ruta Bus 31 is a high-frequency service which runs from the city center of Oslo via Lysaker Station to Fornebu. During regular schedule it stops just outside the stadium, however, on match days it stops further away because of traffic. Lysaker Station is served by both the Oslo commuter rail and selected intercity and regional trains. Dedicated football buses are operated by Ruta to Stabark home games. There are 1,500 parking spaces immediately near the venue, although additional parking is available at IT4 Nabu and at Lysaker, which are a 7 and 15 minute walk away, respectively. The Fornebu line is under planning, and would be built either as a light rail or a rapid transit which would allow rail transport from the city center of Oslo and Lysaker to the stadium. Events Telenor Arena was the home ground for Stabark football, which plays in the Norwegian Premier League. The first match was a friendly against Sweden's IFK Göteborg on 24 January 2009. The official opening took place on 8 March, when it was host of Super Final N 2009, a pre-season match between Stabak as league champions and Valeringa as cup champions. Stabak has played four UEFA tournament matches at Fornebu.
against Tirana and Copenhagen during the qualification for the 2009-10 UEFA Champions League, against Valencia in the playoff for the 2009-10 UEFA Europa League, and against the NEPR Mod 11 the qualification for the 2010-11 UEFA Europa League. Stabak's record attendance at Telenor Arena dates from 13 September 2009, when 13,402 people saw a league game against Rosenborg. The record in a UEFA game was 12,560, who saw the match against Copenhagen. The following list shows the average, maximum and minimum attendance for Stabak's home games in the Premier League. It also gives the rank among the average attendance for the Premier League teams. Telenor Arena is often used as a concert arena when international superstars visit Norway. The other big concert arena in Norway is Oslo Spectrum. Madonna visited Telenor Arena with her The MDNA Tour on 15 August 2012. Rihanna visited Telenor Arena with her Diamonds World Tour on 25 July 2013. The arena when filled could get very hot and the organizers were criticized for the water priced at 44 Norwegian kroner for a cup with water. Justin Bieber visited Norway and Telenor Arena with his Believe Tour 16, 17 and 18 April 2013. The three concerts were all full seated. Other major concerts held at the venue include AC, DC with their Black Ice World Tour and Tina Turner with her 50th anniversary tour in 2009, Andrea Bocelli in 2010, Metallica for two nights on their World Magnetic Tour in 2010, and Iron Maiden on the final Frontier World Tour in 2011. Kylie Minogue will perform in 2015 as part of her Kiss Me Once tour. Telenor Arena was the host of the Eurovision Song Contest 2010 on 25, 27 and 29 May 2010. During the preceding weeks, Stabark had to play their home matches at Ullaval Stadion in Oslo. Other events at the venue include the Solberg Extreme Motor Show, Oslo International Horse Show and Sensation. Bibliography Jensen, Ingebrigt Steen, Altied, You Answer, On Clock Scarpe Og Gal Scarpe Sommar Til for a Scarpe Eventer, Therum, Dynamo Forlag, ISBN 9788280780. Topic Notes